My name is Benjamin Oguduru. Okay, the name of your wife? Your the name of my wife is Majela Chinye. Okay. Mrs. Oguduru, Mrs. Okay, on that fateful day, yeah. what transpired, please? My wife called me around nine or thereabout. Okay. I called me around that nine or thereabout that she was at the gate and she ah, baby. First of all, I saw her, she called me with her Nigerian number. Okay, ordinarily, what what we are discussing with, what we used to chat is mostly on WhatsApp. Okay, but that day she called me with her Nigerian number. Uh, when I saw her Nigerian number, I said, Baby, wait, uh, you want to burn your credit or you want to activate, you want to make a call to activate? He said, I am at the gate, come and open gate. Are you at home? Come and open gate for me. I said, I'm not at home. Meanwhile, I have a tenant. What I did was, immediately I put a, a, a call across to my tenant. I said, Please, um, stand there. Welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, God bless you. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah, um, it is almost as if this is the season of um, battering, husbands battering and killing their wives. Uh, before the story of um, Sister Osina Shinwashuku, the late gospel artist that uh, allegedly was killed by her husband uh, by um, a very severe abusive um, relationship. There was the story of a man who set ablaze his wife and his brother-in-law and uh, was apprehended by the police because what he hatched as a plot, unfortunately for him, did not work out. And so um, the man has come out and is um, singing. I don't have so much to say, but the man is denying uh, culpability in the matter of uh, him setting his wife and his brother-in-law ablaze. He didn't just set them ablaze, but they were burnt to death. But the story had it that before the young man died, the brother-in-law died, he was able to recount what happened, how that the man came and doused them with petrol and lit them with fire and uh, locked the door behind him. And so uh, in the middle of it, when the man thought, allegedly, that they would have been consumed enough, he started shouting, fire, help, help, help. Uh, but fortunately for the family of the, you know, the young man, the brother-in-law of this, you know, I call them devils, and his wife. The young man didn't die immediately. He was said to have been alive to tell the story of what really happened. So here the man is trying to create a story out of the it all that he didn't do it. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag. I just want you to listen to it but then before i leave i will plead that you just um put down your comment in the comment section what do you think about this uh somehow unfortunately this violence that has uh, suddenly erupted on the space of the social media has doused the pressure on jeremiah omoto Fufeng, you know for him to bring out as it were the baby that got missed missing in his church but it's unfortunate because the uh, destruction is worth it. Lives have been lost. And before I go, I just want to tell you again, if you are in an abusive relationship, take a walk. Stay alive. If you want to remain there for your children, please walk out because of your children. I'm not asking people to dissolve their marriage, but if you think that you've done everything possible and it seems not to be working, Stay alive first and then strategize on the next step to take in order to make it work. Stay alive. God bless you. I'll be seeing you in the next video shortly. Till then, from me to you, Shalom. My name is Benjamin Oguduru. Okay. The name of your wife? The, the name of my wife is Majela Chinye. Okay. Mrs. Okay. On that fateful day, yeah. what transpired, please? My wife called me around nine or thereabout. 
I told me around that nine or thereabouts that she was at the gate and she ah baby. First of all, I saw her. She called me with her Nigerian number. Okay, ordinarily, what what we are discussing with, what we used to chat is mostly on WhatsApp. Okay, but that day she called me with her Nigerian number. Uh, when I saw her Nigerian number, I said, "Baby, wait. Uh, you want to burn your credit, or you want to activate? You want to make a call to activate?" He said, "I am at the gate. Come and open gate. Are you at home? Come and open gate for me." I said, "I'm not at home." Meanwhile, I have a tenant. What I did was immediately I put a, a, a call across to my tenant. I said, "Please, um, Sunday, are you at home?" Say yes. I say please. My wife is at the gate. Go and open the door for her. She just returned from where? Huh? She just returned from. She just returned from where? Scotland. Okay. I said I didn't tell the guy oh, that he just returned from Scotland. I didn't even know she was coming with his younger brother. Okay. No, no plan. If she had contacted anybody, I didn't know. What I know is that she called me that she was at the gate, and I thought maybe she didn't want to disturb me. Or might be, you know, women. Uh, let me. Let me meet him suddenly and see what he what he does behind my back. That was what went into my mind. Okay. So when you got home, what happened? So when I got home, I saw that the because this is um, the fellow. The fellow had some had what do I call it? An obstruction. So I went to the other side through the kitchen. The kitchen you can throw your bag freely there. So I went there to open the door and that. When I got there, I saw that the door was already open and that she had already moved a lot of things. So the remaining one with her hand. So I now help her move. So when we got, we got to the to our bedroom, we moved to our bedroom straight and we stayed, of course, like husband and wife. After some time, she had a call and she said, baby, I said, eh? he said, please, this call I have, it concerns Ifani too. I need to be with Ifani and ask her this call and discuss on it. I said, no problem, you can go. Of course, I can't stop her. So she went. So when she went, after 20 minutes or thereabout, I checked on her. She was still at the, the guest house. Yes, okay. with, the, with the brother. So I said, ah, let me while away my time. I needed to. I said, baby, okay, why you are you are busy? Let me just get to the next place. The next place is about three poles to my house. Okay? Let me go there and take a bottle of drink. So let me go there and take a bottle of drink. Are you worried that you are? Wait, you know, let his narrating. Okay, yeah. So when you went to take a beer, there? So when I was there, I took the bottle. Even he, he find my in-law, mm -hmm. he also came there to buy um, pure water. Okay. Even the owner of the place alerted me, say, ah, Agabe, yeah. He said, ah, this one, if I came to buy pure water, because they don't, I don't drink pure water. I, they, I have my dispenser water, and if I want to drink any other thing, it's bottled water I used to drink. Okay. So he, I said, no problem. So that was how he went. So when I finished what I was doing, I also went home. When I got home, I checked on my room, thinking that my wife had finished what she was doing. I checked in my room, and in our room, not my own, it's our own. I was playing with my phone. Until at a point, after some time, I saw an, an unusual light from the back on it, okay. which is not the light of a ball. Like a fire. Like a fire. Okay. So immediately, I moved. When I moved, this is, of course, it's closer to the pallor. I saw that some kind of... Um, flames. Yes. Smoke. Smoke. It's not a thick smoke, just like a flame. So when I opened, I now quickly, because... You don't lock the door. I now quickly open. It was when I opened the door that that light just flashed on me. I said, Ifani! Because huh? already I was, that was what I was showing you people. What are you trying to say? These are fire bombs. Okay. okay so because okay, so people are telling now? me, because people are telling me, why didn't you, in fact, some policemen were asking me, you ought to have been roasted with your wife inside. I said, what? So, so that, that point, is so that what did you now? So at that point, when I saw that light and the tail flag, what I did was I moved out. I started shouting for her. Okay, I said, please help, help, fire, fire, fire. Luckily, there's a security. He came. The other people. And I remember where I went to take that one bottle. We normally guys normally stay late there. Okay, it's a street. Where was your wife then? I'm your coming. I'm brother? coming. I'm coming. I don't know. 
How do you want me? Let me explain to you. So when I came shouting for help, of course it was late. People had slept. So I said, please, I need water, I need water. The one woman, I said, oh, yeah, come. I said, pour me water, pour me water, because you can see, I was already in pain of run. The woman started pouring me water. That was the last thing. That was the last thing I remember. The other thing I remember was I found myself in the hospital in the morning. Okay. So the allegations that um, uh, Pat, um, your late in-law yeah. uh, said before he died that um, you were the one who, you know, um, called them petrol and, you know, make, uh, them locked them inside after... Put, uh, I, don't, I didn't even have extra petrol. Okay? When my wife came, let me just narrate this to you. I'm, I'm living alone, okay? And my, my bedroom is facing the, the direction of the breeze. So even when there is no light, if I open my curtain, I normally get fresh air, okay? But when she came, of course, I normally have some fuel, okay, some pumping and the rest water. Yes, thank you. So I didn't have extra. So when she came, I felt that she was going to be coming from a cold region. What I did was move to where the generator is, pick the last fuel, and pour into the generator, okay? Okay, there are, there are allegations that you wanted to sell the property Good. without sitting at concept. Who owns the property first? My, my, the, everything, every document about that house is in my wife's name. Okay? Give it to her, she owns the property. I don't want it. Because my wife's property is my property as well. Of course, at my age, at my level. I have gotten more properties in Lagos and in the East more than my wife. So why did you so want to sell no... it? So why did you want to sell it? What I did was to save her. I went. Of course, I have shown you the, the body. Well, I got. What so, do you think that happened at that day? The fire did not come until that day that she came. I don't think. Are you worried that you are in the presence of police and that you are arrested? What it is an understatement. Well, from this uh, explanation, yeah. you said the, you notice a flame. But if a flame is coming out, that means the fire is not even much. It's not what, what do you mean by flame?